Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the McGonagall Boxing Podcast. Good to be back. Um, just want to touch base on last weekend's activity with Terence Crawford versus David Avenesian. Um, a really good fight. Uh, really impressed with Avenesian in spells. You could tell early on he was up for it. He didn't choke, as we say, or he didn't, didn't fear Crawford. However, however... Um, you cannot deny, for me, Crawford is the best pound-for-pound pound fighter on the planet. He just made them adjustments, didn't he? Um, Avenesian was getting inside. He was getting rough. He was getting tough. Um, and admittedly, I, I had him going into round four. I had it 3-1 Crawford, but I could see 2-2. Two, two. Now, people uh, were posting on social media saying, oh, that's Avenesian's round, uh, round three. Certainly for me, round one, two. Um, and it was a competitive fight. But then again, you see, Crawford does what Crawford does. He did it against Brooke. Uh, he's done it countless of times. And here he is, he's done it against Avenesian as well. Um, where he just adapts. He adapts and he overcomes. And that's exactly what he did um, in round four um, and in round five. Round five was a big one where he started... If you notice, to not back off, he stood in the pocket and he started catching uh, Avenesian with uppercuts. He realised that Avenesian was dipping down after a throwing and he was just timing him, he just caught, caught him beautifully. And then he started to pepper him with a jab. And then, of course, Avenesian starts getting confused then. He starts going, well, okay, well, I can't just carry on going in straight lines and, you know, relentless pressure. I'm going to have to try and do something different. And as soon as he tries to faint out of his natural rhythm, he gets caught with, a, with an absolute peach of a right hand to knock him spark out in round six. I've never seen Avenesian get dropped or KO'd like that. That was vicious. And, I mean, he's a tough, tough cookie. Um, you know, you just need to look what he did to Josh Kelly to see how tough and durable he is. But just a brilliant, brilliant uh, fighter, Crawford. And, he, like I say, he adapts, he overcomes. He did it against Kel Brook where he switched <coughs> to Southpaw. He did it against Porter, um, you know, where he just adapted, went to Orthodox. And, you know, he just does it again. And the Avenesian just implements that uppercut and, you know, gets him out of there. It was a brilliant, brilliant fight, brilliant performance. Um, and this, for me, what makes Crawford elite because he's got the heart, he's got the skill and he's got the will. And he's also can adapt during fights. Not many fighters can do that. You're always screaming them, aren't you? I mean, I was looking at Chisora against Fury going, why is he not changing this up? But then you realise a lot of fighters can't do that. Crawford can fight in a number of styles. And that was a big difference against Avenesian, who, of course, can't. He's a pressure fighter uh, and he couldn't adapt. And as soon as he tried to mix things up, he got caught. So, um, yeah, just a brilliant performance. Really, really impressed, though, with... Um, with how, uh, you know, um, Crawford conducted himself afterwards. You know, showed a lot of class, Avenesian. And he wants that fight with Spence. Everyone wants the fight with Spence, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I mean, it seems to be so much ego involved. There seems to be so much money on that table. Um, is it going to go PBC? Are we going Showtime? You know, is it 50-50 split? You know, um, you know Spence uh, is calling for a 60-40 as he holds the belts, a large majority of them. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I just think you've got to call it 50-50 down the line. You know, let the best man win and get it on because it's getting to a point now where Crawford's 35, was spent 33, 34. It's got to happen. It's got to happen in 2023. If it doesn't, it will never will. And it'll be start to become irrelevant, a bit like Mayweather Pacquiao, where I know it made a lot of money, but it was always what if. If only. We don't want that. It's got to happen. They've got to swallow their egos. And I think they will. I think they realise they both need this fight. Spence, credit, after the car crash, after his drug problems, I thought there's no way he's coming back to any kind of level. But he has, hasn't he? He's, he, you know, he's, he's, he's fighting smarter. Uh, you know, he's, he's using his wide, wide range of skills more. Slightly less aggressive, but boxing beautifully. And, what he did to Garcia was masterful. But make, <laughs> make no mistake about it, Crawford is no Garcia. 
Garcia cannot adapt. He hasn't got the all-round skills of Crawford. And I don't think he's got the will of Crawford anymore with Garcia. I think he's been beaten out of him a little bit. So I, I fancy Crawford big time against Spence. I just think he's going to find a way. I think he'll find a way. I think he'll be very competitive up to the round seven mark. And then Crawford will adapt. He'll, he'll change. And I think he'll start catching Spence. And I think he'll start beating him up. Um, but, like I say, back to having an easy fight. Brilliant. I'd like to see, obviously, that's the big one now for Crawford. Moving on to Spence. And, you know, he's getting a good crowd. I mean, he had a good hometown crowd there, didn't he, last Saturday. Big following. <clears throat> I think it was a decent viewing figure. You know, uh, it's about time, you know, he got the credit he deserved now of a big, big fight. As for, as for Avanesian, I'd like him to go back down to European level. I don't, I, I mean, people say retire, it was a bad knockout, but I'd like to see him fight European level, build his confidence up and go again. I just think he's very unlucky that he's got the fighters of Spence and Crawford, he's lost to both of them now, and you know, that's no shame, they're class, class operators, but uh, if any of them belts do free up, I'd love to see him have a, another go at one of the titles um, before he retires, I think he's got two, two years left in the game, and I think... He could have been a world champion had it not been for Spence and Crawford, but I think he's got to just have a long rest. I'm talking six, seven months with a knockout like that. And then, you know, have a European fight, maybe a super uh, big fight on Sky Sports against one of the up-and-coming British guys again, or a rematch with Josh Kelly. I don't know, uh, but I'd like to see him in there once he's recovered. I, don't, I, would like, I wouldn't like to see him retire just yet. But, uh, yeah, Crawford marches on. For me, the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter on the planet. I think he's got it all and more and more importantly I think he's got the ability to keep on keep on moving keep on going if he wants maybe in one more weight class as well so uh, brilliant brilliant fighter uh, brilliant fight Saturday night let's get the Spence fight on we all want to see it